may be the end of the 30-day novel writing challenge, but it's the beginning of the novel writing course. Before we begin this blog, there's some vocabulary we need to go through. Upcoming, adjective, about to happen, forthcoming. Foreshadowing, verb, be a warning or indication of future events. Repetition, noun, the action of repeating something that has already been said or written. Tension, noun, mental or emotional strain. Non-binary, adjective, denoting or relating to a gender or sexual identity that is not defined in terms of traditional binary oppositions, such as male and female, or homosexual and heterosexual. Mimic, verb, to imitate someone or their actions or their words, especially in order to entertain or ridicule. Feat, noun, an achievement that requires great encouragement, skill or strength. Limit, noun, the amount of something that is enough or not too much. Knows no bounds, phrase, to have no limits. All good things must end. And sadly, that good thing is the 30-day novel writing challenge. I want to start by thanking everyone who took part. Your comments and enthusiasm were a huge encouragement, and I loved talking to all of you about your stories and views on writing. There is so much to discuss about novel writing, too much in fact, that we didn't have enough time for it all in November. That's why the novel writing course is upcoming. It will include all of the prompts and discussions we had through the month of November, so if you haven't had time to complete them all, don't worry. But more importantly, the course will also contain brand new material. As well as extra prompts and new forms of inspiration, we will investigate specific techniques, such as foreshadowing, repetition, build intention. We spent a lot of time looking at character this month, learning how to describe them physically, how to show their personality, and even how to write gender non-binary characters. Character is hugely important to making a story real. That is why, in the novel writing course, we will explore character even further. The point of the 30-day novel writing challenge was for you to write every day. Even if you are writing for a minute, or ten, you are still writing, and that's the most important part. In order to be a writer, you must, as Philip Pullman says in agreement with Stephen King, Read a lot, and write a lot. We all go through a phase of mimicking the writers we love. This is part of the process. First, we must absorb the writers we admire, and write as them, before we can find our own voice. It took me years to find a voice that sounded like me, that actually seemed to reflect my personality and my desires as a writer. This came from practice, dedication, and above all, experimentation. We've experimented a lot in the past month, so the novel writing course is your chance to use those skills you've learned and put them into action. Like all art, writing takes a lot of work. It's not an easy feat, but if you're committed and hardworking, you'll do it. That's also why we're creating the novel writing course, so you have all of the encouragement and support you need. But also remember this, enjoy yourself, have fun, your imagination knows no bounds. The novel writing course is coming soon. I'm Tom, one of the teachers here at Intrepid English, and thank you for listening to this podcast. Mm-hmm.